Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next tutorial from me, Abermans. And today we're going to build a bit of a bigger cottage, a nice detailed cottage with a bit of a garden, and it's going to be really great. In fact, why am I talking to you about it? Let's just take a look now. So this is what we're going to make. It is a nice looking cottage. You could make it two floors. I've just made it one floor. It's got a really nice kind of farm bit at the back. It's got a really attractive roof. It's got a veranda and inside it's got all kinds of things going on. Normally I'd leave you to do whatever you wanted on the inside, but here I've put lots of storage in it. We've put an exit out into the farmy kind of area at the top and we've got a mezzanine level that's got our bed, an enchanting area and everything else we might need for this particular build. Let's go and build it, I'm really excited. And for this build, you are gonna need a few bits actually. We want some oakwood planks, some oakwood stairs, oakwood slab, some spruce wood, some spruce wood planks, some glass and some glass panes, stone bricks, stone stairs, oak fence, although you could use a different uh, wood fence if you'd like, whatever you fancy in your build. A dark oak door, I really like the contrast that dark oak doors give us on this. Some glowstone, some gravel, an iron hoe, iron. Don't use a diamond hoe, never ever waste your diamonds on a hoe. Water bucket, seeds, some various flowers, whatever you prefer really. Dark oak leaves, you can use oak leaves or different leaves. I quite like the dark oak leaves because of the texture they give. Some spruce wood stairs, some spruce wood slabs, and the various bits and pieces that you would want inside your house. So brewing stands, crafting tables, furnace, whatever it is you'd like to get in there. So let's go make it. So the first thing you want to do, the same as you do with any build really, is mark out your floor. And we want something 11 by seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 11 in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should give us the square that is gonna start our build. So let's just fill this in now. So we have a nice 11 by 7 rectangle and we're going to jut some bits out of the sides now and we need to find one, two, three, click that and then from the other end of this long side, one, two, three, click that. So we've got five coming out and then we want another row of that as well. Duplicate that on the other side and then on this side come in two, one, two, three. Just one out, that should have another two space there. And then exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three. Should have a two space there. And that gives you a shape that looks a little bit like that. Right, so let's get some structure into this. So on the corner, outside corner though, of every bit, we wanna put one, two, three, four high using the spruce wood. Now, you could use dark oak for this. You could even use oak if you wanted to. It's really down to you what you would prefer. I'm using spruce because it's got that lovely texture in this particular texture pack that just sort of stands out really nicely. So every corner, up four. So there we have it. We've got every external corner up four. And then we want to look at the internal corners as well. So get the internal corners with oak wood planks. One, two, three, Four, to make it equal. This is also an internal corner there. One, two, three, four. And do that with every internal corner that you have. So once all the internal corners are covered off there, you've got to now join up your structure. And I like to use the same cross beams as I've used for the outside. So I've got spruce wood. So let's use the spruce wood as well to join up all these cross beams. Exactly like that. And again, this is a relatively familiar method of starting out your structure, so this shouldn't be too new to you. If it is, really recommend this. No matter what size or shape of building you are making, this is a really, really good way to build up your structure so you know exactly where you are moving forwards. It's a, it's a nice, strong, solid way to make what you're making. Right, so now you have a choice. You could go up another floor or you could stick the roof on here. Now, I don't know what you would prefer. Personally for me, I'm gonna put the roof on, but you could put another floor in here really, really easily and it would look awesome. 
So as always, we're gonna get some texture into this build. Texture meaning that we've got some bits jutting out and other bits not jutting out. So to do the texture in the first instance, because we're gonna do the roof at the next stage, if you were doing another floor, you wouldn't do this, but if you're doing the roof at this stage, I am coming out with some oak stairs on the corners of each of these uh, jutty out bits. But you'll notice on these smaller sides, I'm not coming on the sides of these jutty outs, just on the front. So all the way around. On the larger ones, we come out on the side because we have a two gap. But on the smaller one, we only come out at the front. So you can see that hopefully really clearly and it should be dead easy for you to be able to copy that. So we've got that all the way around. Then we're gonna take our slab and just fill in the gaps all the way around. Every bit, including the small parts on these sides. So we've got a nice skirt all the way around the top of this that we can get our roof onto. So again, if you put another floor on this, you would put this on the second floor and not on top of the ground floor. But complete it you and I'd be really interested to see what it is you've done with this build so maybe tweet me some screenshots it'd be really great to see what you've done we're nearly all the way around and let me just check that I've not missed anything there we go so we've got a really good skirt all the way around the outside of this build now so before we do that roof we're going to start the walls and we're just going to use stone bricks because they just look really really nice when you mix them in with the uh, wood it just really really works on the long side leave the middle bit open because that's going to be your door but on the short sides fill it all in make sure you've got a wall all the way around even in these little gaps here and on the sides and again long side leave the middle part open we're going to do something with that and get it all the way around here we're nearly done and there we are so we've got stone all the way around and we're going to get our stairs and we're going to put basically little feet on all the outsides of the spruce wood that we put down you may have used a different wood I appreciate and go all the way around but on the short sides again like on the top we're only coming out forwards we're not coming out sideways on the long side we're coming out sideways and forwards all the way around and again on the short side we're only coming out forwards so we've got nice feet all the way around this structure is really starting to take shape so we are going to use our spruce wood stairs here and we're going to start building this roof because everybody needs a roof over there if we start with the long side we're going to put spruce wood steps in there and we're going to use spruce wood planks just to fill in here now you have a choice with these spruce wood planks this could be something and you'll see later what i mean that you actually take out i'm not sure if i will or not yet we are going to see but we need to put i'm certainly going to take out some of these and make a nice easy well, not that way around a nice easy a frame apex there and then put spruce wood planks in there and then on the other side the longer side we're going to do exactly the same thing and we're going to put not there we're going to put spruce wood steps on either side we're going to get the planks in there just to act as a support more spruce wood steps on either side of that more spruce wood planks not glass more spruce wood planks there that's perfect and then one more set of spruce wood planks in the middle so you can see we've got our a-frame starting and we're going to do similarly a really classic look here to get four kind of gabled ends onto our build it's really going to look awesome So you can see there, despite the rain that keeps coming to annoy us, we've got four gable ends and we've got to join these all up together now. So let's get this roof finished off with our spruce wood stairs. And we need to basically join up all the way around using our steps. And it shouldn't be too difficult for you to do this. It's literally, I find personally, do the corners last because you're just gonna get a much higher success rate of making sure they go around the corner the way you want them to. Sometimes stairs don't do what you want them to. It's a complete nightmare. Anyway, so let's get this roof done. So you can see there, we've got the first row all completed. Now we need to fill it in and make sure that we've got a nice 
and row going up to make it taper beautifully. Now inside I'm going to use oak wood planks because you're not going to see these from the outside but you will see them from the inside potentially. So let's go all the way around the inside with our oak wood planks. It means that we can very easily see where we haven't filled in yet, of course, because it looks different. So there you go, we've got that very nicely rounded and we want to get the next row of steps in. So we've got all the way around there with this next row of roof. Now you can see on the shorter sides, we've now got to the end of our taper, which is brilliant. So that means we can move forwards to the next level. So let's get ourselves the next level in. So we're gonna fill in again using this oak rather than spruce so we can see what it is we're doing. We're gonna row all the way around and we've got a row. So you can see here, we've not got somewhere we can put steps. So don't put any steps there. Pretty simple, right? We're gonna put steps for the roof everywhere else. So this is looking awesome. I'm really pleased with the way it's going. And we need to do, again, another row of oak wood to make sure we can see where we're going. So let's get that covered up. So we've got it there, another row of oak. And here we've got a single channel, so we can't put any steps on that. Really important rule. But we can put steps all the way along to make a, a, a kind of ring of steps along here. So we've created the rest of that rook and we just want to fill in this last bit with oak. But have how you say, now I've got funny colours all over my roof. Yes, you do, dear watcher. You're absolutely right, which is where we take our spruce wood slab. And the spruce wood slab is going to go on here and it joins up really nicely, you'll see, to the edge of those steps. So let's do it on each of the bits that you can see a different colour. And it's again another reason why it's really good to use a different colour of wood so you can see exactly where it is you're going. And on the top as well until you've got a roof that looks all the same colour. But I personally find that a flat roof like that just needs a little bit more of a lift. So I stick that there and then I get a flower pot. Yep, a flower pot. And we stick the flower pot on the top. Ta-da! And there we have it. Flower pot actually looks really, really cool as a chimney. I like it very much. Right, so let's get down and let's just have a little look at what we've got so far roof looks absolutely amazing i'm so pleased with that really really pleased so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to build up the inside but it's getting a bit dark in here so what we're going to do about that well really really simple we're going to light it up first of all we're going to light it up temporarily using some torches and then when we do it properly we're going to put some proper lighting in here so we've got a load of temporary lights in, just shoved a few torches in here to make sure it's nice and light in here. If you're in survival, that's going to stop any mobs from spawning inside. We'll worry about proper permanent lighting a little bit later. All we've got to start to do now is start to build out the structure down here. And I'm going to get our door and rather than build it from the outside, which gives a little bit of a dull flat feel to it there, we're going to build it from the inside. And as a result of that inside, when you come around here, you'll see it gives you some really nice texture on the outside because the door is inset. You can see that it's inset beautifully. So let's go inside there. So two doors, one at either end. And here, we've got to try and start to make um, a little bit of you know, a decoration, but it still be structural. So I think here we're going to go with our oak planks and the oak planks are going to go across the top like that. And because this is not a solid door, we can't use a glass pane because it won't join up. So here we are actually gonna have to use glass, which is okay because it kind of works with the door being inset like that. I'm quite happy. So we're gonna do that exactly the same on the other side. Put glass panes there and oak wood planks across the top. And just to match it up, we're gonna put oak wood across the top of all of the rest of the inside, the top row. Not anything else, just the top row. loads of wood going around the top row. Now we want to get our glass panes. And the reason we're going to use a glass pane rather than glass is again, it gives us more of that structure that we really like. It gives a little inset and makes for a little bit more texture on both the inside and the outside of your build. So let's get glass panes all the way around here. So there you have it. It's actually really nice from the inside. And also look at it from the outside too. So we've started to build out the bottom of the structure and it's really starting to look quite nice now. We're gonna put a little bit of extra detail 
on this front section. So this is what's going to be the front of the house. And what I want to do is I want to bring this out another couple of rows. Not too far, because we don't want to make it too sticky outy. I'm going to bring it out that far and I'm going to be removing the entirety of this internal piece all the way to the back here because we're going to be building kind of like an, an upstairs almost dormer style um, of uh, room if you like. It's only going to be a little room but it is going to be a room nevertheless and we're also going to be doing a door here so let's get a door on the inside of that and here we're going to use the, the wood structure here and try to kind of build on it so we'll be using spruce wood again bringing that spruce wood on either side and here we're going to use the glass because again you're either side of a door so it won't actually work using a paint it will just look silly so we're going to have that like that and here we can need our fences so let's get our fence and we're going to put a fence there fence there fence there fence there and we're going to fence all the way along and we create like a little balcony which is quite nice and then we're also going to put an oak wood slab on either side and then on here because we want it to be you know to follow the laws of physics and be supported using these oak wood fence posts so we've got what looks like quite a nice little patio there i think that works quite well so looking at the back of our house you can see four upright spruce columns go to the outer one of each of these and we're going to build out 13 fences so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen right so i'm going to do the same thing on this side if i've done this right it should all join up of course i've done it right so we are now creating our garden and we want to go six out from the back door one two three four five six and we want to stick our water in there we're going to till all around it so you can see there we've got a really quite nice sized garden so let's seed it up let's get it nice and planted all the way around what a great garden so now it's time to get a path all the way around our garden so we can walk around it dead easily and we're going to use gravel because I really like gravel paths so let's gravel all the way around. I think that looks like a really cool garden I'm really pleased. So it's time for us to finish off some of the detail on this house so first thing we're going to do roofs tend to continue around past the edge of the building so we're going to go all the way around here with the roof material, whatever material it was you decided to use. And on the platform here, go around the platform again, all the way around, just because it creates one continuous structure and it makes it look like it flows beautifully from one end to the other. So it's really quite important that you get it all the way around. And inside you can see we've got some, it's kind of open, that's okay, open is alright. We are going to put in a little bit of detail here using the glass blocks. And the reason we use glass blocks is because behind it it's got a different colour wood and that means that it just gives it a little bit more texture and a little bit more colour but without it looking like it's just a big indent inside it. So let's get our glass block, stick it one, two, three, four. You could of course put a little bit of light behind there if you chose to, that could look quite nice. I'm going to put one in there as well. This side's already got some structure. And go on the last side around here. So it's time to make the outside look just a little bit nicer. And we're going to do that using a little bit of leafage. So these long ones, we're going to put some leaves either side. We're going to miss those. We're going to put some leaves there. We're going to put leaves in there. Acts as a really nice kind of hedgy bush. And you can see we want to put some in here as well. And on the other side, which gives us just a nice little finish, I think. Then we're going to get some flowers in because we like some flowers flowers are always good so let's make things look pretty we're going to use just some random flowers you can use whatever flowers it is you'd really like to use i'm going to put some there and i'm also going to come around the outside here and put some flowers in the front because it just looks pretty then we're going to get the other flowers and we're going to put those either side of the front there which looks fab it's raining and it doesn't matter oh it's lightning and it doesn't matter because the flowers look really pretty I'm very happy with that. We're also going to create a nice kind of entrance area to this front. 
And there we go. So that's a nice area for the gravel. Ooh, last one. Happy with that. So the rain has stopped, but we've come indoors anyway because we've got to try and just make this place look a little bit more standard. Because it doesn't look standard at the moment. We've got lines of wood going around like this, and it, it doesn't doesn't look quite right for me. So we are going to try and standardise this out just a little bit more. And we're going to use the spruce wood. It doesn't matter the spruce wood showing as it comes, and you can see why in a moment. We're going to do exactly the same on this side. I'm going to come around there. I'm going to come there and put that. And on here, we're going to put the spruce wood coming out either side of that. And on this side, we're going to do exactly the same. And it just makes it look just a little bit more standardised. Now we've got that wood going all the way around. But here, look, we're all jiggity jaggedy. We don't want jiggity jaggedy. No one wants jiggity jaggedy. So we are going to fill in this area here just to make that less obviously sticky outy. What we're going to do here, because here we have got what looks like an entrance that goes out to our kind of veranda. We are going to build out here like this very nicely. We're going to replace this with some normal wood and that gives us a really nice little platform for us to build up to with some stairs. Um, but before that, we're going to put some light in and we've got a naturally beautiful strip here for us to put our glowstone all along, which allows us lots and lots of light up on that top level. So this bit is where it comes down to your own personal preference for individual design. Here I think we've got a nice little area all to extend. Personally, I think it should carry on all the way through. So we're going to take out these blocks there to create continuation of the room and we're going to continue the floor all the way along. So as it meets this area here and that is where our stairs are going to go up. So let's get our oak stairs because it's inside, it is oak. And we're going to put one set of oak stairs there. Underneath that we've got oak planks and then next to that we've got oak steps. So that creates our staircase that goes up, but it looks a little bit jiggity jaggedy. So we are going to put a solid steps or solid bit there that allows us a much better way of going up and down. I'm much, much happier with that. I think that looks much better. We are going to put planks across this way and we're going to get our oak stairs, our oak fence, sorry, and we're going to get oak fence, no, that steps, oak fence along there, which creates a little banister balcony bit there. And we're going to put some more blocks there. We're going to get more fence there and there. And that creates a really nice little upstairs area for us to use for whatever we'd like to use it for. So you can decorate your house inside as much as you'd like. I've decided that I want to put plenty of storage. I've got up there some chests that cover up the ends of those logs really, really nicely. We've got our brewing stand. We've got the steps in the middle that go up to the mezzanine. We've got our furnaces. Up we go to the mezzanine. We've got a small area for enchantment. And you could even augment that by putting more bookcases around it. Of course you could. And we've got our armor stand. We've got a bed. We've got a crafting table. And right here, we've got the door that you can look out onto your kingdom. And then if we go out the back door as well, you can see that we've got some really nice stuff growing in the background couple of chests to put all the stuff in that we've grown. It's really quite a nice little building. I recommend that you could probably put a little farm area onto this as well. At the side here you could create any type of additional bits and pieces on it. You could make it a farm, you could make it stables, you could make all kinds of fenced off animal keeping areas. It could be a really nice build and I'd really like to know what it is you've done with it. That's the end of this build. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit the like button for me. I would love to hear what you have done and how you've made this one even better than I have. Make sure you hit that sub button and I'll see you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.